You guys showed so much support that we're going to be doing another 1 million MT giveaway for the month of March. All you guys got to do to enter this is use code BIO2K at checkout at NBA2King.com. We do have ways to avoid bans on their website, and I highly recommend guys posting cards that are diamond and above. The brand new NBA series cards are perfect. Everybody always thinks that you guys need to spend money to get the Dark Matters in packs, right? You guys have LeBron, you have Oscar Robertson, Chris Stops, Giannis, we got LaMelo, we have Dwayne Wade. Obviously a lot of good Dark Matters in these packs so far, and we are going to just continuously keep getting them. Now, by the time you guys see this, it will be Friday. I will be on vacation. So with that being said, guys, there's going to be two or maybe even three new dark matters that are going to be hitting the market. Now, with this, guys, what I'm going to say is dark matters in 2K without spending money. It's actually, I don't want to say it's easier than you think, but especially with them taking out contracts this year, making MT and getting these guys without having to buy VC is definitely doable. Even without buying actual packs, you guys still even will get packs available to you that will have ways to get free Dark Matters. It's very slim, and I get that, but there is still a chance of getting T-Mac here, getting Wade here, getting LaMelo here, or even getting Big O here. The option is still there, and it's still actually not as bad as you guys would think. These packs will still almost give you guys a Galaxy Opal or a pink diamond at least, which are still good budget cards in this game. I know we're here for dark matters though, so let's get back to that. Now I could sit here and tell you guys, hey, it is literally as simple as building up 100K MT, going dark matter and spamming this filter right here, which you guys can do. I don't necessarily like sniping because I feel like you could sit here for hours upon hours upon hours and literally never see anything. However, what I'm gonna tell you guys and when I am gonna be dropping this video is around the time where the packs do come out. So what I will say though for you guys is that this is not a bad thing where if you guys wanted to go ahead and post these cards, you know, or I'm sorry, snipe for these cards, when the packs do drop, it's really not that bad of a choice. Maybe sit here for like a half hour, you know, talk with some friends, watch a movie or something, but sniping dark matters is definitely doable. I've seen plenty of people do it already, so, if you guys really wanted to this is something that you guys can basically go ahead and do so how are you guys gonna build up your mt to go ahead and get some of these dark matters again without having to buy vc first things first go to your collection guys go to this tab right here this miscellaneous stuff sell everything you're not using badges coaches playbooks logos courts it does not matter get rid of everything and as soon as you do that while that stuff is selling let's talk about some of the game modes that you guys really want to take advantage of First things first, guys, we're going to be going with Triple Threat Online. The reason why I like Triple Threat Online is not only do you guys build up MT a lot faster than you guys probably think, but you guys also will get a hidden Dark Matter in Mike Bantam. A lot of people assume that Dark Matters are the best card in the game because they're the highest overall, but that is not necessarily true. Mike Bantam is arguably better than Giannis. He's arguably better than LeBron, depending on obviously how you use them. These cards will do virtually the exact same thing. Now, you guys can look at Triple Threat Offline and look at Billy Knight. There really isn't anybody to compare him to right now, but again, he's still super solid. So even a guy like Mike Bantam, it is definitely still worth, guys, going ahead and paying attention to how good these cards really are. Again, they are hidden dark matters. You also have a Cosmic Pack. It does suck that they make them a non auctionable because that used to be a really good way to make MT. But nonetheless, if you guys are winning these games, you guys are going to be building up a lot of MT and even tokens faster than you guys think. So never mind triple the online here. Let's talk about clutch time online. I like clutch time online a lot. A lot of people stop playing clutch time. So if you guys are going through and getting some of these rewards here, you guys are going to see that there is good amounts of MT lying in clutch time online. Definitely something well worth paying attention to. Now, the final thing I want to talk about, I know it is unfortunately one of the most annoying modes in this game, but unlimited is really good guys and the rewards that you guys are able to get are also really good as well they do give you guys a free 10 box and a free 20 box as well as uh, cl uh not clutch time co-op triple threat there's also a 20 box in there and a lot of people don't know that but yeah if i could scroll through the rewards i would show you but again guys these rewards are still there so i again Sometimes you just gotta grind, guys, but never mind these packs. There's also some really good amounts of MT lying in here, as well as prize balls that are stuff that you guys really wanna be taking advantage of. I don't know why people still sleep on prize balls. These things are actually good for making MT. Like, and I don't give 2K credit all that much, so if I'm telling you guys that they're good, trust me, like, they're actually pretty good. 
Hey guys, if you guys need any online or offline grinding, be sure to hit up Rose NBA. The link to his Twitter will be in the description down below. 100% legit and reliable, so be sure to go hit him up now. Now, if you guys are lo really looking to make some quick MT here and you guys haven't done these spotlights yet, this is something that a lot of people do definitely overlook as well. Now, we're just going to go by one by one here and you guys are going to see. Celtics game number one, you do get a badge reward pack. Let's see. Nets, wave number one, a badge rewards pack. Let's go down to the Knicks, a badge reward pack. This pack, guys, could contain badges that could sell up to as much as like 12K MT. If you guys don't want to get KG and you guys don't want to do this grind, that is fine. But definitely go through and complete the very first game of every single one of these and get this badge pack. You guys will get 30 of them and you guys will be able to make a ton of MT by just doing this. So honestly, like it's definitely something that I don't really talk about all that much because it is kind of a sneaky little way to make some quick MT, but it is definitely something you guys want to be paying attention to. Now, what makes a dark matter a dark matter? You guys, some of you guys might not get the whole point of this video, but let's just go through. 30 Hall of Fame badges, 23 gold badges. Obviously, that is really good. Looking at D-Rob here again, same thing, 30 Hall of Fame badges, 15 gold badges. But not only that, guys, you also have these stats of looking like an absolute beast of a card, right? Which makes sense. There is definitely, obviously, some really good cards and really good dark matters that are in this game already. Let's go ahead and take a look, though, at this 16-bit set and take a look at a guy like Rudy Gay, right? Rudy Gay, a really good budget card already in this game, going for under 40k. 16 hall of fame badges 34 gold badges now if you guys don't see kind of the point i'm trying to make here this is still 50 badges on a card this is a base card guys 50 badges now a lot of people don't understand that hall of fame badges are good but the difference between a hall of fame badge and a gold badge when you're playing unlimited is really not that big of a difference okay and if these cards already have their badges all that's missing is really good stats so let's go ahead and take a look. 92 3, 94 mid range, 97 driving dunk, 90 ball control, 88 pack, pass accuracy, 85 block, 88 steal, 90 perimeter, 88 interior, 88 on both the rebounding, 93 speed, 90 speed with ball, and 93 lateral quickness. This is also all guys before the coach. So whatever coach you guys have, all these good stats that I just listed off are before a coach that is going to give it a boost. Now, who's to say you guys can't turn this Rudy Gay into a Dark Matter card, right? Well, what do you have to do? First things first, you guys are going to go to a shoe here and just see, okay? He takes Jordan's shoes, right? Or maybe any shoes in the game, whatever it is. Yeah, because he can also take Pumas. So he probably could take any shoe in the game. Guys, diamond shoes are super accessible in this game. Literally, go to the market right now. It does not matter. Now, if you don't care about the aesthetic of a... Um, of a shoe you guys will be fine like i'm telling you like if you don't care about what it looks like you guys will be fine look at this a diamond shoe for 400 mt guys 400 mt or a jordan shoe for 900 mt there you guys go pick up one of these the boost for these shoes are not that much either and you guys will be able to turn almost any one of these galaxy opals into a dark matter i'm telling you guys it's it's the dark matter glow is not what matters you guys want the best cards in the game this is how to do it without spending money on this game. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Be sure to kill a like button and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And uh, yeah, peace.